Wow, you guys, good morning. I just, on my YouTube feed, I just saw something about, that's why I was just, I did a video yesterday. Um, I ain't posted it. Y'all, I'm literally dying. It's just day two of my fast. And uh, last night was just hard. In my sleep, like I just, uh, this video is supposed to be about this Donald Trump stuff, but y'all know I'm fasting and I think I'm gonna have to eat something, y'all. I don't have no energy. Like, last night I was feeling so nauseous, feeling like I'm gonna throw up and stuff. In my sleep, I just had to get up and eat some ice chips and drink some water. I had some ice, I had to eat some ice and drink some water. Hey, stop. But anyway, I was doing this video because I'm telling you guys, Trump, they said that he stole boxes from the White House. Like, this was an hour ago okay. that the news posted this video. The FBI is raiding his, um, one of his resort homes. That house, look, that home property look nice. That's what I'm saying. You got the, you got the devilish souls living, living lavish. Mm -hmm. Like, what? But... They said he they raided his home because they trying to find like he's that he stole boxes of important like documents or something from the White House when he left presidency and Trump's and I guess Trump made a statement saying that they're doing anything in their power to try to get him not to run for presidency again in 2024. Um and it's so funny that Jalen did that video and said he see Trump as president again and it's going to make everybody angry. And what have I told y'all about what's going to happen? Like, we're in modern day Babylon and um, they are Jerusalem. Russia, they are Jerusalem and they're about to attack us. They're going to attack us September. Before this year is up, I keep saying September because I feel it in my heart. September, like, What's the odds I was born on September 17th? That's the same day. I did them videos videos back when I was talking about, um, I don't know. It's one of them videos talking about this Russia stuff and uh, all of that. But I was born on September 17th, bruh. That's the same day Harriet Tubman took the chance to freedom using them underground railroad routes. And based on what I was reading, I did a video on Babylon. We are the modern day Babylon. Like it's biblical, bruh. This stuff is biblical. I did the video talking about that. What's the odds? And then it just all ties into each other for me with this whole Christianity, Islam stuff, because I'm saying that I don't feel like we really supposed to be Christian and Malcolm X used to preach that same thing that African Americans at least are, are supposed to practice the Islamic approach and I always say that black people we're the Israelites we're the ones that God freed from bondage from slavery he brought his wrath upon America for them to free us literally and Harriet Tubman was the one true child of God one true child of God she had faith where everybody else was scared. She had faith. And she had put that work in and went without, no matter what her family and friends and whatever, all the naysayers, they were scared. But she knew she heard the word of God. She knew she, knew she was listening to God and, and God led her. God led Harriet Tubman. God led Harriet Tubman. He led her. He led her through the route, through the underground railroad routes. He did that. He put the def different people in place, put them different homes in place along the way for her to go camp out there until it was time to get to the next one, to get to the next one, to get until she finally got to the free state. And that's why I always say my journey just feels like Harriet Tubman. The fact that she's from Maryland like me, like, I really feel like maybe she was my auntie or something, like, and to see that her and Mac, Malcolm X and all of them was activists about the same thing. They feel the same way I do about our rights as for black people, man, for the minority. It's just it's just not a coincidence. Like, and those same very routes is what these devilish government have used 
to do so much wickedness. Like they've used them for their for their good. Mind you, what she used she used those routes for freedom, and they using them same routes for their own stuff. I really feel like a bunch of traffic can be happening on that on that route. Like something those are important. Modern day now, they use those routes for a lot of things. And to see that our power plants, like Trump knows, I know it might seem like I'm jumping around, but Trump knows. I told y'all he's locked in with the Russian mafia. Why you think he got the balls to do all of this? And he's going to be the reason like Biden, it's, it's going to, it's, it's, I, I feel that he possibly is going to get back in the, in the presidency in 2024. Mm. If not before then. Because what's about to happen it's, it's war. War is truly coming. It's war. Russia putting against the Biden administration. And mind you, they always put the Democrats in office to do the dirty work. They always put the Democrats in office to to do the dirty work for the public, for the for the country. And that's what happened. And Biden got in, just like with Barack. When Barack got in, he legalized LGBTQ, all of that stuff to go against God's will. The Democrats always get in office to, to legalize things that go against um, God's will. Even with the abortion thing, yeah, they try to overturn it, but then they saying that they going back on the overturn. So it's just like America's truly about to feel God's wrath. And all of this stuff relates. It all relates because Trump, the fact that they just raided his house. Basically, Trump feeling like, oh yeah, they really against me. They really, they really want it back in blood with Trump for what he's done during his presidency. But honestly, that's why I say Trump really know God. And that's why he does everything. Just like me, he's like me. I'm a rebel. I'm going to go against the government. I go against law. Because law is cat. Law is the devil. Like, literally isn't. You got so many people so afraid of the law. What Dolph say? Mother, F the law, F the law, F the law. <laughs> because this stuff was not God ordained. Some of this stuff, it's just when you get in the spirit, now that I'm in the spiritual room and that I know God and I know what he's told me to do and I know what he's done, I can't say everything right now, but eventually I'm going to let people know. That's how I know that this government stuff, it's been so many things, you guys, so many things that, that just, I can't even just say it all. But God, that's why I always say God got the final say. And I didn't drop that video about about the other day how um, when I was at Walmart and I was at the card only checkout. Um, I'm going to just drop that video because I don't really feel like talking about it. In this one. I'm going to put that video. I got a bunch of videos I really need to post because all of this stuff is just like proof that God got the final say. People really think a man, a human, a fleshly person the government officials, they really think that they are somebody and they're not. God has the final say. And he's showing you guys. And he's about to really show it, show up and show out. <laughs> this ain't no coincidence, bruh. This ain't no coincidence. But Trump, he's definitely putting a bug in the Russia's ear to attack us. This is why it's about to be war. Because he's mad at what Biden administration is doing to him. He's mad that Biden even got office. He's mad about that. And he want revenge. And then he, the fact that he said what he said about U.S. taking... Um, I'm going to drop... Y'all going to see that video probably before this one. But I just I recorded a video yesterday talking about how Trump is mad. Well, he said that... We, the U.S., the Biden administration should not be supporting Ukraine uh, survival. And basically, he's against the fact that the U.S. is helping Ukraine because Trump is with the Russian mafia. Right? Trump is a really savage. And like my baby dad said, them Russian ma the Russian mafia don't play. 
they savages too. And to see what we are doing to them, we're sanctioning Russia and we um supporting Ukraine. We we helping out the ops when and then we we cut trying to cut Russia off from our money system and one of their largest banks that that feeds their nation is tied in with us and we trying to cut them off they want it back in blood we're trying to starve their country so they say okay you want to starve us we about to starve y'all and what do i keep talking about with the SWOT analysis in business business 101 you figure out your competitors your true competitors you figure out their strengths and their weaknesses our strengths is we're strengthening in technology that's our strength. What do you got? Uh, Ari, don't make no mess, man. <laughs> our strength is our technology. And that's why they're coming to attack our power grid. Because it don't matter how how strong you think your systems are. If we mess with your power lines, it don't matter how good your technology systems are. If the power down, you can't use those systems. This is why it's about to get crazy and the depression is going to happen. The Great Depression 20, 2022 is going to happen. Because when the banking systems go down, when the, when they, the Russians are planning attacks on our power grids. And they're already in town, like I've been saying. Like, they setting up their plots. They plotting their plan out. Because when they attack, it's going to get crazy, bruh. It's going to get crazy, y'all. And Trump is really tipping him off because he's a he's look, he's against he's really against the government, too. That's why he got in office doing whatever he wanted to do. Because it takes a brave person. It takes a true God fearing person to know that. Are you going to even listen to what I'm saying is God? Or are you going to listen to what the government is saying? The same government who does everything to keep the people down, which is why they put all these systems in place, and which is why I'm a I'm always going to be a believer in beating the system, just like Grant said in that video. And I don't even think I ever posted it. That's why I need to stop posting my videos when I when I do them. But even Grant Cardone said he in the one percent. He said you can't be mad at the systems. You got to be mad that you don't know how to beat the systems. He said this. Even how people be mad because the 1% know the tax loopholes around the system. And most of the average people who make a lot of money, they don't even know how to beat the system with the tax holes and with the tax loopholes. And that's why they be mad that they got to pay the middle class, be mad that their tax dollars pay for everybody in the world. And the rich people, they get the, the real true 1%. They get to hide. They, they don't have to pay income taxes because they know the loopholes. They know how to beat the system. Like all this stuff is a gimmick and it's a, that's why God had to take me on his journey, Brad, because I'm studying the, the same, the same methods, the same methods. And when I get out of this funk I'm in and I finally get to that level of success, I'm going to learn the tax loopholes too. But the thing with me is I'm going to put people on game, my community modern day slavery i'm so big on getting us out of modern day slavery because so many of us work these dead-end jobs we work these jobs to keep us away from our families keep us down in the grand scheme of things because it messes with our mental health look at how many people gotta go out and smoke cigarettes on their breaks because they so stressed out about that stupid job and stupid life that life is throwing at them like Nah, we gotta, it's something about mental health and God. And to get your mental health right, you gotta have God in the play. Like, God gotta be all up in you. Because when God leaves you, it did, like I'm complaining about y'all last night, I'm over this spiritual journey. But I know it's God, God know what he's doing for real. Even though I get upset at the process sometimes, it's like, I could c complain all I want, but nonetheless, I know I'm gonna stay down. Like my loyalty, I'm the most loyal person that there is. And my loyalty is always gonna be to God. Even though I don't like the process, but it ain't about what I like. Like I said in videos back, it ain't about what you like. 
you just gotta stay down with the process. Cause I didn't come too far and I know too much now. Like now I really know, no God. So it's like, I would feel like I complained last night that I want to take back control of my life. But it's like, I know that would be going against God and I'm loyal. I can't go against him. I know him. I really know him now. He been knew me. He been knew me. But I ain't never know him. And now that I know him, even when I think about turning back and all of that, because it would be easier. But what I say, nothing worth having comes easy. It would be easier for me to turn back, go to Maryland, send my kids with their dads, and me just go get a job and, and hustle the, the normal way I used to hustle when I was in Maryland. Like, even without getting a job, just hustling selling this, selling that, doing this, doing that, but he don't want me to do that anymore. And it's really irritating because I feel stupid. Like I said in the video last night, I feel stupid that I know how to sell things to make money. And then I'm here and I just, he didn't want me to do none of that. Ugh, it's just irritating. He really wants, it's just, ugh. I know this video been all over the place, but nonetheless, y'all gonna see y'all gonna y'all gonna see what I'm saying soon. Like y'all gonna see what I'm saying soon. And just all of this stuff it ties into each other with the religion. Because the most religious folks are the ones who believe everything the government say, and that's why God is mad. It's like, dang, y'all know my word and y'all don't practice it. Y'all don't really have more faith in me than the government. And y'all know my word. This is why he's mad about this religious stuff, bruh. He's mad about that because people put more faith into the pastor. Put more faith into the government. Then you put that faith into God. You more scared of what the government may do to you than what God will do. That's a scary sight. <laughs> That's a scary sight. And that's why for me, that's why I've always been a rule breaker. This is why he used me. This is why he using me to expose the people. Cause I don't care. I don't care. Even if I get thrown in a lion's den, I know God gonna be with me and it's not gonna last forever. Like, <laughs> this stuff is really deep, y'all. But just know, it's so funny that Trump and everybody now it's like, I used to hate Trump too but I never really I always thought he was funny I just cause to me when he was in presidency I didn't feel I was up when he was in presidency now that Biden in presidency is when I feel like I'm lacking but I understand Trump like <laughs> and people think he mean just like people be thinking I mean and it's cause he's raw that's why I think I like him because he's raw. And one thing I'm realizing about this whole thing, I'm learning that I'm truly Republican. I was Democrat by default, just like I was a Christian by default, because that's what my family, my mom was. And that's what I, you know, I didn't know nothing about polit politics. And, but now I'm getting, now that I have, like in these past six months, look how much has happened in six months. The clarity that he has given me in six months span of time. And that's why I really, now I know I'm a Republican because I'm conservative with my beliefs. I don't believe in all this wild stuff. Like, even when I was being at Jezebel, it's certain, even with being a Jezebel, with having that Jezebel spirit of sexual, being, thinking, you know, of the flesh and sexing and whole phasing. <laughs> And all of that, I still had morals within that because it's just certain things that I'm not going. I wasn't going to do even being that hoe, being that hoe. It was certain things that I would not do. It's, it's just certain things. Mm. Like it's about. That's why I always say it's about principles and morals. Like it's really about principles and morals, bro. But. This gang, it's that's why Trump says it's great, get crazy, cause it is. Cause Trump know what he doing. He know that he putting a bug. He's cool with the Russians. He cool with the Russians. 
and Biden and them cool with the Ukrainians. They taking their side over it. And like I said in a video yesterday, when you work in a in an industry, any industry you work in, and then you get out of that industry, you you still know the cheat code. You still know how they operate. You still know they million dollar plan. You still know the Krabby Patty formula. And once you leave that job, leave that corporation, you can expose them. And that's what Trump has done. That's why they say he took all these boxes of government information. They waited a little bit too, FBI be a little bit too late sometimes. Y'all done waited a little bit too late. He done already tipped off that same information. He probably just sent it over there to Russia and them, to Putin. This is why it's about to be a major war. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. And this is why I say repent. Truly get a relationship with God and stop focusing on that religion. Because we all going to be... Because what did I say in them videos? Go back and watch my videos where I'm talking about this Russian war. And how Putin and them said America is going to feel God's wrath. And they not... Just like they not... They don't have no mercy on Ukrainians. They That's why the U.S. has put sanctions on them. Because they're going against the war rules. And when you're in war, it's certain things, certain places you're not supposed to blow up. You're not supposed to hit up where the civilians are. But putting in them, just like how I be, when it's smoke with me, all bets is off. Y'all want to talk about uh, all bets is off. Once it's once I got smoke with you, it, all bets is off. You know, just like some of these shooters be out here. All bets is off. I'm after your family. I'm after your kids. I'm after your wife. I'm after your husband. Man, I don't be savage like that because I love the kids, you know. I just love all the kids. I don't care who I'm beefing with. I ain't never. The kids is always off limits to me. Like, they the babies, you know. But the Russians, all bets is off. Look how they have done the Ukrainians. They didn't kill so many kids, mothers, attack nursing homes. They have really, that's why U.S. put the sanctions on them because they're going against the laws of war. They going against the laws of war. And they're about to do the same thing to us. Trump is helping them plot out this plan, how to attack us, how to bring us down so that it can benefit him. So that he can get Biden out of office. Get Kamala, I don't know where she been at. Get her up out of there. So that he can naturally take back over. And it's so funny, like I said, Jalen dropped that video that he see Trump being president again. And he is. He is going to be president again. This about to get messy. This about to get messy, bro. It really is about to get messy. And we just going to see how this thing play out. It's already playing out. What I've been talking about, the water shortage. Everything. The shortage on everything. Look how they doing the farmers. Everything. I went to two different Walmarts the other day. They all out of water. All they got is the gallons of purified or distilled water. They don't have no bottled waters. Nothing. That's why I'm glad I already got my stockpile of water. I said it's going to be a water shortage. And we are definitely in a water shortage. I ain't never been to a Walmart and not seen no waters. No packs of waters. It's just about to get messy. One thing I do, I was just watching some videos. I want to learn how to like, like them Jamaicans be. I really just want to learn that self-sustainable lifestyle and how to like cook outside with, like they be doing in Jamaica and them other countries, they put they wood together outside and then they put they pots and stuff up top of there, cook they meals outside. This one guy, this one white guy that I be watching on Instagram um, I think it's called Southern Vibe, and it's his page. And he do he always cooking outside too on his little grill things and stuff. Like I, that's what I really care about. I want to learn how to. Um, I want to learn how to do that. And so, we ain't gotta because the power's about to go out. We're not gonna be able to rely on regular ovens, all of that stuff. The power systems are gonna be down for a minute, and. We gonna have to know how to cook food. Yeah. One thing about it, just wait till it all play out. So that's what I need to be doing. Learning how to 
put some fire together and cook outside. Look, I'm talking about starving now during those days, but I, I done already got my little stockpile. I just got some rice. I can eat rice every day. I can eat rice and beans. <laughs> Something. I know how it feels to... And that's why God has had to humble me in this season and humble my daughter. And she still be acting like she don't get it. Um, Because it's all the time, you're not going to be able to eat what you want. Eat when you want. So you got to know how to weather that storm and how to just eat what you can. Not just necessarily what you want. So... I know this video probably was all over the place, but nonetheless, just take heed to everything because this is bigger than what they really talking about. And to see this going on with Trump, that's why, this is why he's tipping the, because I see keep saying, how else would they know? Like, of course the Russians have probably, they're studying us, but Trump is with them. He's tipping them off. Like he know all the top secrets. He worked as in the presidency. He's they say he stole stuff. He knows all the top secrets. And now that they went against him, he like, oh, I want it back in blood. He tipping off the Russian mafia, which is they soldiers. The mafia is not the soldier, but the soldiers work for the mafia. Just like our soldiers. Our soldiers, they use our soldiers, regular civilians to go to work on behalf of the mafia, the U.S. mafia, which is the government, the government administration. They are the mafia. Like, mafia is a group of people. And normally, it's the ones that's leading the world. Like, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. But, y'all, let me get up and try to not eat no food because I'm really getting hungry you guys so I'll see y'all let me get these kids together I'll see y'all in the next video this is I have no energy my arm even it's just like I have no energy food gives me energy and I have no fuel I don't even know I said I was gonna do my hair I don't have no energy to even wash it I don't want to fall and faint in the shower. But we're going to see y'all. Just stay there. And I always say don't pray for me. But the only time I want you to pray for me is trying to get through this fast without dying, falling out. I can't pass out in this room. I got my two kids. It'd just be different if I ain't had my kids. But I can't let them see mommy head laid out, passed out. And I just be scared that if I ever pass out, somebody gonna take my kids, and I don't want them to send them back to my mom and them. And they raise them, treating my kids bad. No, it's like I'm not acting like my mom is just this. She is wicked. Now I realize I put so much past her, but she wouldn't necessarily do like legitimate harm to to my kids. But mental, you're going to mess with their mental. And that's what's most important. Look at what the key topic of today is, mental health. Ain't always about the physical. Because your mental, it starts mental. And what starts here starts showing up and showing out within your body, within your physical health. So that's why the mental is key. And that's why I can't let nobody destroy my kids' mental. And why I'm no longer letting nobody destroy my mental. So until the next time, deuces.